Welcome back to Morocco Method International, where natural things happen. I'm Anthony Morocco, founder and CEO of Morocco Method, where luxurious hair happens. So we're doing a series on hair loss and hair thinning, which I call spokes in a wheel. And this spoke is going to be on diet, which I find not a really good word. So let's call it nutrition, health, happiness. So we have a question coming in from Annie Lou, and she's asking, how can I get my eating habits into a natural regime where I can grow luxurious, healthy hair? My mantra is little by little. So we start off daily, little by little. So I'm gonna start off with my routine, and then I'll go into general routines which will work for anyone and everyone. So my routine is, first of all, I'm 77 years of age. I have no medication, no drugs, no pain, no doctors, no supplements. So that's pretty high in achievement. I have zero pain, no physical pain, no mental pain, no emotional pain. And how did I achieve that? Well, little by little. You know, I started off in my early 20s with eating correctly. Of course, when you're young, you do kind of crazy stuff. But as you get older, you realize that physically, you really want to stay in your highest energy form possible. So as far as nutrition goes, my diet is very simple. If you eat live food, you produce live cells. If you eat dead food, it'll produce dead cells. And all of our skin and all of our hair is pure protein. So I go to the local farmers and I only eat what is produced in the season. So whatever is happening today, that's the only thing I eat in my diet. I don't go to stores. I don't buy anything from out of the area. I don't eat anything that's not grown locally where I live. So that may seem extreme for someone to start off on day one, but eventually as you get your energy levels as high as mine are at 77 years of age, you will not really compromise doing other ways of lifestyles. So I made friends with the local farmers. I pick and choose who I like, who I really support. And number one, I really support my local farmers. So I'd rather pay them whatever their price is, rather than going to a corporate box, store, whatever that means, corporations, none of that. So uh, food-wise, I'm practically a vegetarian, but I don't really endorse anything that extreme. What that means is if I crave anything, and I mean anything, I will have it, or I will do it. But generally, my diet is just locally produced fruits and vegetables, grains. Yes, grains that are all produced locally by my farmers. I really love them and support them. So if I crave meat, for example, it's just that I don't go out this afternoon and get a steak. I let my body build that up and the craving goes on for three, five, seven days and I still start really craving blood, raw meat, meat. So then after about five, seven, even nine days, I go to my local farmer who I trust. I get a nice, really high grade cut of meat and I start off cutting that really, really sl thin slices and eating that raw, very thin. And I see my energy levels go <laughs> So I know that I really need this type of protein once in a while. And then I basically saute it. I usually saute it in butter and very fast. I don't cook it very long. I just put it into a frying pan, one side, the other side, not very much. And I have maybe two ounces, which for me is a lot. For you, you may need more. Same thing with fish. If I'm craving fish, I generally don't eat fish for like three, six months at a time. I have no desire to eat it. But when I start craving it, 
I let that go on for a week or two. Then I have a local place where I go to here at Morro Bay. So we're lucky we have our own fishing fleets that come in every day with local catch. And I get the local catch of the day. I'll eat fish for one, three, maybe even a week, as long as I basically want it. And then when the craving stops, that's the end of that. The same thing with fowl, usually chicken. So that's my go-to 24-7 diet. Yes, I love raw chocolate. I have a baker who I trust. He's from Lake Como in Italy. He does my baking for me. He makes me really great black bread. And he makes these incredible cookies with volcanic salt. Mm. And I have a hot chocolate once a week with some pastry. That's my big indulgence. That's all I need. The rest of the week, I don't really want it. I don't drink coffee ever, never. Doesn't exist any longer. Because I produce so much energy from Qigong and yoga that I don't need to pump myself up with caffeines. The body will produce any chemical known to man. The body will produce anything in the universe at its highest quality degree in the exact amount that we want. So I don't need to take any medications, no chemicals, no supplements. My body, I have detoxed to a level of sensitivity where my body will produce exactly what I need for energy. So I start off in the morning with mug of hot water. I put in local honey, local lemon, cayenne pepper. I do some apple cider vinegar from the health food store only. I do some grated ginger at times. I do some coconut oil and then some raw butter. So I have a farmer who produces raw cream, raw butter, raw milk, but I prefer the raw butter and a little bit of raw cream as a big treat when I'm sometimes having my green tea. And that's my morning drink. It goes about 16 ounces. Then I keep adding hot water to that throughout the morning and afternoon. So I haven't eaten any food at, at all in the morning unless I crave it, which is very rare. So my go-to diet is if you're not hungry, don't eat. So what time is it? Lunch time. <laughs> what time is it? Ooh, dinner time. No, that's not a time. The body has its own natural time. When I'm hungry, I eat. If I don't eat for the whole day and I don't feel hungry, I'm great. If I feel hungry, I can eat five, seven, ten times a day. And so that's what I'm saying. You have to become sensitive to your own physical needs. That includes our own emotional needs and our own mental needs, which I teach in Qigong. But that's in another video. So getting back to our food, preparation, fast, walk. I do a lot of walk cooking really fast. I don't overcook my food at all. I have, um, I found a great pasta from a local farmer. She makes it with rice noodles. Mmm, really delicious. Then we have sometimes local mushrooms. So whatever is in seeming, whatever is happening, um, I'm Italian, so I love my pasta, but I only have it maybe two or three times a month. I love rice, so I eat that. Sometimes I do oatmeal for breakfast, most of the times no. So again, little by little, trust your gut. Literally, trust your gut. If you're hungry, eat healthy, natural, live food. If you're not hungry, don't eat. I sip warm water throughout the day. That basically keeps me very hydrated, keeps my energy levels very high, and I feel very contained. I don't feel like I'm lacking anything. And I really don't have to do any kind of fasting because I generally don't eat breakfast. Most of the times I don't even eat lunch. I generally have one meal a day around 4.30, 6.30, Whatever time I'm starting to feel like I'm getting hungry, I will basically prepare something in the evening myself. I rarely eat out. That's my preference. I love to cook. I'm a really good cook. I was raised by Italians on both sides, Naples and Venice. So I really know how to prepare incredible meals. 
very fast, very easy, very Asian type of cooking. Walk. So I hope that really gets you stimulated to start your little by little regime. This is one of the spokes in the wheel. Our health is our wealth. Until next time, let's all stay together. All life on earth is one and everything that lives is holy. Be well. Namaste.